This video is just one part of a full series released right here week after week. Subscribe below and hit that bell to make sure you don't miss an episode. Enjoy. Sammy has found success by properly managing her borderline personality disorder. And a large part of that success is due to her caring support system. That includes her boyfriend, Brian, who you'll meet in this episode. Man. It's been, it's been a long one. <laughs> what a road. Yes. And it's not over. Right. Right? Life's a journey. Mm -hmm. But Definitely. do you feel like the hardest part is behind you? I think so. I, I hope so, at least. I think so. I think this year has been, or 2018 was a year of just growing and just coming from such a depressive state of 2017 mm -hmm. and just really working on myself and mm -hmm. trying to get better. And I think it really has helped. Therapy has helped me so much. It's so crazy. You, you were saying uh, during the break, off camera, mm -hmm. dialectical behavioral therapy and your DBT workbook mm -hmm. that you got on Amazon. Amazon, baby. <laughs> changed your life. It has. I it mean, really that's has. pretty powerful. Yeah, it yeah. definitely has. Anyone dealing with this kind of, you know, diagnosis or any diagnosis, it, for that matter, therapy helps so much. Yeah. It changed my life. I yeah. mean, it's crazy. It's so insane. I say therapy helps people even if you don't have a diagnosis. Exactly. It's yeah. so true. You yeah. don't want to be better? Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it's so, it's even just having an unbiased opinion, just talking to someone, it's so important, I feel like. So today, what does your current treatment program look like? So I am on medication. So I take medication every morning and every night, and then I'm in therapy once a week. Once a week? Mm -hmm. Okay, how yep. long are those therapy sessions? About an hour, yeah. And is that with a therapist or a psychiatrist? Therapist. Therapist, mm -hmm. and then how often do you see your psychiatrist? Um, every three to four weeks. I see her. Okay, mm -hmm. so about so, once a month. Yeah, so then we just kind of go over how I'm feeling, how my medication is, if I need to change anything. Mm -hmm. You know, she's amazing. I finally found the right psychiatrist. All right, so awesome. good job, good psychiatrist. So awesome, she's and amazing. Therapist. Yeah. Um, when you don't have to share the mm -hmm. exact types of medication, you don't have to mm -hmm. share anything you don't want mm -hmm. to, but what what types of medications are you on? So I'm on an antipsychotic. It's okay. called risperidone, okay. um, and that is supposed to help with the hallucinations I have as well. Um, and that's actually really helped me. The beginning of 2018, I was suffering from hallucinations, really bad auditory hallucinations, um, and that kind of threw me for a loop. So we needed to find something that was going to help block that, um, and that's definitely helped. And then I'm on a mood stabilizer called Lamictal. And then I'm on an anxiety medication as well. So, an anti anxiety medication. Yes, yeah, anti anxiety. An anxiety <laughs> Not that yeah, I don't think they even anti -anxiety. make anti anxiety. Anxiety medication. I don't think you want that. <laughs> they probably wouldn't do very well. Um, the psychotic medication, mm -hmm. the anti psychotic medication. Mm -hmm. When did you start having those auditory hallucinations? Well, the past few years, I've kind of had them off and on, but what I. What is that like? terrifying at what, first. What, like... So I'll explain. Okay. So I will have it to where I will have voices narrating my day. So narrating my day to day things that I'll be doing. So if I'm at work, um, if I'm checking out a guest or something and I'm, you know, putting a product in the bag or something, they'll narrate that and be like, oh, you're putting this in. The... It, it sounds so crazy, I guess. Um, or, you know, they'll narrate my day or they'll talk about someone that I'm having a conversation with, with. If I'm triggered easily or like upset, they come out a lot more. Um, but the medication really help, has helped with that. For Have sure. you had any of those during our conversation today? Um, a little bit, but not, not too intense. So. And what did the voices or voice say? Um, like I was nervous at yeah, first, so, yeah. you know, just like commenting on how nervous I am and that it's going to be fine. A lot of times I've talked to my therapist about this. Um, they get defensive, I guess, for me, um, which is kind of strange. I don't know. I, I still don't really understand it, honestly. Um, but yeah, just like narrating what They're I'm doing They're on your stuff. side. Yeah, exactly. I feel like most people, when they hear that people hear voices, they mm -hmm. assume it's they're bad. Bad, yeah. yeah. And there are bad. There are bad. Yeah, for sure. But it, that's more if I'm triggered and a sad or angry or like I get voices that'll like encourage me to like self-harm or something. But 
instead of like acting on those like I used to, mm -hmm. I you know will distract myself and do something proactive, mm -hmm. go f you know work out or so you know good. yeah just try and good figure something else out. Yeah, you're so good. Thank you. I get why people are inspired by you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And if I did it, I might not even say it. <laughs> I might Thank just go, oh, well, to each their own. Thank no, I, I totally get. It. You're so aware. You're so actual responsible mm -hmm. um, but vulnerable mm -hmm. right which yeah. we, it's that it's you have to be vulnerable as mm -hmm. well in life you can't just be like wow right exactly you know, you yeah um, so you're in therapy you're on mm -hmm. medication mm -hmm. if you look at your life when you were incorrectly diagnosed with bipolar disorder mm -hmm. and today with the correct treated diagnosis of borderline mm -hmm. personality disorder how do you compare those two it's crazy. I would say like night and day, which yeah. is like such a cliche thing to say, I feel like, but I just, it's not as chaotic, you mm -hmm. know, it's, it's more of like a, I know it's wrong and now I can fix it type thing. Uh, I know it's wrong. I know what steps I can do to help myself. So um, it's so much better. If you had a rain come on a scale from one to 10, 10 being the best you've ever been <laughs> and one being the worst, where are you today? Today, I would say, an eight for pretty sure. Pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Definitely. Pretty good. It's really good. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> you know, if, if you averaged out the last three months, where would you have been? It's so funny because I can go from really good one day to really just mm -hmm. crappy with the other. So I would say like a six. I've been a lot better the past few months than I have been in a really long time. And really what do you attribute time. that to? Um, I don't know. Just trying to look at things in a more positive way. Um, I don't know, I'm big with writing, so I've been yeah. writing a lot and being more you know, committed to doing that almost every day. Mm -hmm. So I think that has a lot to do. I think finding your passion is so important. I think everyone should find their passion. Uh, it is the number one goal. You exactly. say find your passion, I say find your purpose. Purpose, yeah. And, and those Perfect. can be interchangeable. Mm -hmm. It is what you should be doing, period. Like, I don't care what exactly. else you got going on, figure that out. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And I think um, taking my like career, what I wanna do with like YouTube, and writing and you know I want to help people and just taking that a lot more seriously and really like focusing on you know having like a game plan yeah. um, has really motivated me into not being in the deep hole uh, that's why I call it the the hole the pit of death <laughs> yeah. of like what I've been in so yeah I get that mm -hmm. um, what is your support system like it's amazing so mm -hmm. I like I said before, I don't really have my family. I have my sisters, but mm -hmm. they're in Florida. Um, but I don't really focus on the negative with that. I, you know, I have my boyfriend who's like my number one, like my rock. Who's here? Who is here? <laughs> Brian, Brian is taking He's pictures here. of you right now. Yeah. Tell, tell me, brag on him, brag on him a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So he's amazing. Yeah. He has helped me so much. He. I think I was attracted to him because he wants to help people as well. Mm. Um, he, you know, has dealt with like really severe acne. Um, he has a YouTube channel that like really directs towards helping people with that because a, a lot of times you don't really think of acne in suicide. Um, but there's a lot of people that have dealt with that that get depressed and, you know, can't come out of their house because of their acne. And he's really helped so many people with that. And it's so inspiring to me. Um, not only that, but like with fitness and, you know, people fitness schools and whatnot so yeah I mean he's very motivating you he, know? but he's not very fit though <laughs> like right well you can you come on camera Brian are you kind of here? <laughs> he's not very fit he's just like this tiny little shrimpy and he's vegan, <laughs> he's vegan. Here, sit, sit next to her for a little bit um, now you're not mic'd so we'll hopefully they can still hear you but yeah, you can you can yeah. lean in there okay what uh what was that year like in 2017 when you, I mean, you were basically the reason she did anything back mm -hmm. then. It was tough, man. Well, I, I've never dated anybody who has openly had a mental illness, or at least known that they had mental illness, right? Because it, it seems like something that a lot of people don't admit that they have. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was really difficult, man, because I just didn't know what to expect, and I was kind of just going with it. As she's kind of explained a little bit, I'm a very positive person. So anything that you, you know, comes up and it's kind of difficult, I always feel like if you have a positive outlook on it, and you always think this is going to, we're going to get through this no matter what. Mm -hmm. You can always, you can always get through it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I don't know. It was tough, but I was like, well, let's do it. 
Let's yeah. make it happen. Drink some water. Yeah. <laughs> You're probably dehydrated. He's, he's been carrying around a jug of water yeah. all uh, <laughs> shoot day. So now, what is your life like now that she has come to onto the other side? It's good, man. Um, that's just really awesome to see her uh, kind of figuring out herself a little bit more because I feel like before all this kind of uh, developed a little bit more. I feel like she was just kind of shooting in the dark. Like before I started dating her and stuff, the person that she was with before didn't seem very encouraging to actually figuring out what's going on and what to do next. Mm -hmm. So now that she kind of has uh, more stability in her life and support from me and my family, she has the ability to actually like, explore herself mm. and understand where she can go in the future to improve the things that she wants to improve and understand herself more. Um, so yeah, it's, it's good. I feel like she she's doing a lot better in terms of like understanding herself, which makes it easier for me because then I think I also understand her a little bit more. It mm. makes it easier for me to support her in a way that I feel like isn't uh, random. I feel like there's a, a goal. Here's what we're dealing with now. Here's what we can do about it. Yeah. And we can That's probably how you felt too mm -hmm. about yourself. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Uh, know thyself for sure. Yes. What advice would you have to supporters of someone going through any number of mental health disorders? Um, yeah, I get that asked a lot because of her comments. I would say it's hard to understand it, right? So, I mean, just like with acne, like it's hard to understand it, but understand that whatever you're going through that's difficult, kind of apply that, you know, to the thing that you don't understand. So like maybe if you have acne, if you have obesity or you have something that you're insecure about, understand that how, how that makes you feel and how isolated that makes you feel. Mm -hmm. And so while you can't put yourself in the place of someone who has borderline personality or bipolar or depression or something like that, understand that for them, that's their entire world. That's what they wake up, that's the first thing they think of. That's the thing that they think of throughout the entire day. That's the thing that they double guess every decision they make and they mm -hmm. think everyone is aware of. It's the same thing as whatever the issue is that you're, you're dealing with. So just try to apply that and have empathy even though you don't quite understand it. One of our doctors, Dr. Romani, said that the number one trait that every parent should raise their kid with and that every person should strive to have is empathy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know if that is taught or practiced. Right. And my New Year's resolution is uh, to practice empathy because I, will I used to avoid it, mm -hmm. right? If someone on the plane starts talking, I'm like, oh my gosh, good luck. You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and now, totally and now right. I go, all right, I'm here. I can yeah. practice. Right. Yeah, because then when, when my Sammy in my life, someone mm -hmm. who's close to me who means something to me, then I'm ready to go because I've already mm -hmm. practiced you know, with yeah. other people and it's the right thing to do. Right. Mm -hmm. Nothing will make you feel better than helping someone else. Yeah. Not, not helping yourself, not getting to a certain level of success. It's always helping someone else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is, I'm, I'm sure you've, <laughs> had lots of conversations with each other. But since you're both here, is there anything that you guys would want to say to each other? Oh you my can, gosh. You can go first, Brian. Is there anything you want to say to her? You're going to make me cry on camera. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I'm proud of her, you know? Um, she's gone from being very scared about talking about her mental illnesses and opening up and kind of like debating whether she should share this or she should share mm. that. This is too mm. much. This is, you know, and I feel like when you do that, you only share the things that everybody's talked about. It's all, mm. you know, surface level stuff that you could find anywhere on Wikipedia. Mm. But when you start to dive deeper, it gets really difficult to share that stuff. And so that's, that's one of the biggest things that I'm proud of her with is, is deciding like, okay, there's going to be people who are in the comment section being really rude and nasty and stuff. But those people are outweighed heavily by the people who are deeply impacted and mm -hmm. will move forward in their life and be impacted by the things that you're sharing rather than the people who are just screaming negative things behind yeah. the keyboard. Yeah. 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 I would just say I appreciate you so much for just being so supportive with, you know, everything that I've gone through. It's not easy. It's hasn't been an easy road at all. It's been so difficult. Uh, so I just, I just appreciate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be back when Love Connection returns <laughs> here on Med Circle. Okay, uh, Brian, um, go do yeah, some push-ups. Yeah. Uh, drink more water out I'm of like a I'm like tearing jug. up trying not to cry. Uh, so funny. You can check so out Brian emotional. on his YouTube channel as well. Okay, in addition to having a great support system, mm -hmm. therapy and uh, taking your medication, mm -hmm. what else in your life helps you be optimal? 
definitely self-care is a huge huge thing and that's not just like taking bubble baths and you know the general self-care that you hear about Mm -hmm. um self-care is eating when you're supposed to when you're when you feel like you need to eat eat Mm -hmm. drinking water i there's tons of people that get so dehydrated they don't even realize that they need water and Mm i i have so many people in my life that don't even drink water and then they're all like upset like they don't realize that that's what they need um so water is a huge thing for me um writing is huge like i said earlier finding a passion is such a big form of self-care i feel like it's yes, huge very good. yeah i feel I like love it's huge that. yeah passion is a form of self-care absolutely that is good <laughs> passion is a form of self-care yes i am taking that okay good. i'm stealing it definitely. i'm going to share it share that it. is really good yeah definitely passion is a form of self-care mm-hmm. that i love it's that. a good one now are you pen to paper or typing both, both. i like okay. pen to paper okay. more and I learned my lesson because I lost a document. Oh, yeah, man. a huge document. And I was just like, Devastated. now I will yeah. never not do pen to paper first. And then I transfer it. Got but it, got yeah. It. Okay. So yeah, um, writing for me, um, exercising. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I feel like it could be such a big form of just like getting your aggression out. Mm-hmm. And for me, it definitely really does help. Um, so those are just a few things that I, I do. That's wonderful. Me. Yeah. That's wonderful. <laughs> this has been so fun for me to do to sit here with you i consider it such a privilege thank you (laughs) because you are trusting Mm -hmm. me Mm -hmm. to share your story uh you're trusting our team and i Mm -hmm. thank them as well for delivering that story and like brian mentioned earlier this can help an endless number of people i hope so and this will will help yes an endless number of people yes and that is such a great gift you've given thank you thank you for for having me this was once i saw a few of this the episodes from med circle i was like i want to be interviewed by them one day i want to work with them and it happened it's amazing so i'm so grateful thanks for watching if you liked what you just saw then why not subscribe click right here for new episodes and new series every week and to access exclusive mental health videos that we only release at medcircle.com check out the links below.